I've been thinking about why Tom Brady would want minority ownership in the Raiders. And from the outset, I think the first question probably all of us had is, well, why would you not want part ownership in the Patriots or even the Buccaneers, but especially the Patriots, you know, you pour your heart and soul into that team for so long. Why the Raiders, you know, from that angle, it feels like, well, this is just, you know, a piece of you adding to your kingdom. Essentially, this is an acquisition of awesome, expensive toys that you have. You got 5% in the Raiders um, because we know he has some ownership in that soccer team with his business partner which his business partner, he also reciprocated that favor and gave you know him the opportunity. And now he has part minor, minority ownership in the Raiders. Um, so from that angle, it feels like, okay, well, this is just, you know, uh, a business acquisition for you, especially considering how much Tom Brady has going on. Like, think about how busy this guy is. Yeah, he's not playing football anymore, but he is doing the broadcasting thing and he's new to that so that's a craft in and of itself and that is you know most people that do that that is their entire craft is learning to speak in front of a camera be engaging know how to talk about things know what the rules of that are know what they can and can't say and he has so much more that he has he can and cannot say uh, more guidelines that he has to learn because of his ownership in the raiders and i think some of that's still up in the air as far as what he can and can't talk about i've heard he, you know, that's why he's bland as an announcer or whatever is because he can't criticize officials. He can't, you know, talk about team things. He can't go to meetings with the players and on and on. Um, but beyond that, you know, he's got the Brady brand that partnered with Noble. He's got all sorts of companies. He started a YouTube channel. He's been uploading pretty often too. Um, obviously he's delegating a lot of those things, but he's still having to do these new endeavors. He's very, very busy. He's always busy. I'm sure somebody runs his schedule and every minute of the day is taken up. So from that angle, it just feels like, yeah, it's just like, of course, I'll take a piece of this team. You know, this is, it's a business acquisition. However, the way the facility, the organization embraced him when he entered the facility and the look on Mark Davis face, like he was a four-year-old having his first Toys R Us experience, synapses just firing in his brain and overwhelmed with joy, really paints a different picture. Because, you know, Mark Davis didn't have to give away any ownership. And you don't do that unless those people can bring you something in return. And, yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like, I know Brady brought his other guy on and maybe that's more a business acquisition and in order for them to get Brady some ownership, they had to give that guy ownership. I know Richard Seymour has a half a percentage, um, but you're not going to just give something away. And just because Tom Brady's a legend and he's famous of your pride and joy, your, your legacy, um, unless he's going to offer something in return and bring something to the table. And especially with that reaction, um, you know, it's not just like he bought some Apple stock or some S&P 500 and he's going to move on with his life and, you know, everybody's happy about that. And so what he brings to the table or what may have been promised, what I can see is just what we saw with Tom Brady reciprocating the ownership stake and bringing his business partner on with the Raiders. It's connections. Tom Brady has all the connections in the world. Anybody he wants to be connected with, he can be connected with because he's the greatest of all time in the game of football. Everybody wants to be attached to Tom Brady and anything Tom Brady brings to other people is already going to be eagerly received and with favor and they'll be listening. And one of the things that I'd heard was, and I don't know how legitimate this is or if it's purely a rumor or if Tom Brady even has the pull or the say so or the influence to bring people on. But uh, people are saying, oh, Tom Brady would want to bring Belichick in connections, right? There's a lot of factors that goes into that. Obviously, Bill Belichick has to be willing to coach again and willing to coach for the Raiders and live in Las Vegas and all those things. Um, on top of that, there has to be a lot of dynamics within the organization that allows that because Tom, Bill Belichick needs to be the alpha 
in the organization in order for that to be a winning culture, successful organization. Uh, just talking to people that I know that have played with the Patriots, he's got to be top dog. You know, he's got to be able to tell the owner and everybody, hey, keep your hands off my team. Let me run my team. This is how I'm going to do it. You don't have a say in it like I do. This is my team, you know, and it needs to be that way. The coach should be able to have the hand in that. Um, I'm not going to name names, but there are owners in the league that don't want someone to have a bigger name than them in the organization. And you'll often see that they never hire head coaches that are going to have a bigger ego than them. They'll always hire a head coach that is beta to them. And uh, that's kind of how that dynamic goes. The problem with that is they're going to be the owner until they pass. And then they'll pass it on likely to someone in, you know, in their family that's similar to that, or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But the Raiders are set up very well for that dynamic. And that's not me speaking poorly on, on Mark. He's, it's been known he wants to delegate the football stuff. And that's great. That's a great um, way of going about that. Focus on the thing that focus, like if you can have a singular focus, like Brady had a singular focus when he was playing the game, it was football. The reason he got his hands into so many other things is because people want to be attached to Brady. So he can just delegate off all these things and that builds up his, his castle. That's what it looked like with the Raider thing. But I think Brady really can bring in some connections. And again, Mark Davis can do that delegate the football stuff out, bring in these guys that know how to bring winning culture. And so Again, I think Tom Brady can bring connections. There's so many more that he has. There's so many people that he can bring even in and through the organization to come speak to him. But what better than have uh, Tom Brady come speak to the team? You know, even if it's not, even if it's pseudo regularly, all eyes and all ears are going to be tuned into everything that he says. His words hold weight because they should, because he's the greatest of all time. And that could be a great way to influence that culture, you know, even if Bill Belichick doesn't become the coach at some point. Um, if Tom Brady can have a direct hand in, you know, saying, hey, here is how you build a winning culture. These are the things that we need to do. You need to bring in a, a coach that will implement these things. Um, because, again, we have the pieces. We have certain guys on the Raiders, you know, like obviously Crosby that is – influential in the best way for that team and bringing toughness and bringing buy-in. Uh, but you need more guys like that. Again, I've talked about, I think JPJ, he's a rookie now, you know, the best thing to do as a rookie is to show people with your mouth shut what you can do um, and bring passion like he's bringing passion. But I think he'll develop into a great leader um, as long as he keeps that dog in him and never lets it go, you know, but if we can bring, big chess pieces like that in, in the organization. It takes a handful of them to then influence way more people. And now that's the culture. You get in or you get out. Uh, you add that along with bringing Tom Brady, who's strolling through regularly. Um, even just him checking out a practice here and there, it's like everybody plays harder because they know he's watching. They don't want to seem soft in front of him. He, he knows that old school football mentality that is – wasting away throughout the NFL and that's why when you see it in guys like Max Crosby or um, just uh, guys in the league when you see it it stands out because it's like oh that's what football should be that's the toughness people should bring that's um, the mentality the dog that it should be it's a tough game it's a gladiator sport man and um, so again this is a, a little bit of a rant and Honestly, I have not researched this issue from top to bottom or this this topic from top to bottom of, of Brady and the Raiders. I'm sure there's things I'm forgetting or leaving out. Uh, let me know in the comments below because I am genuinely interested in this topic. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Yeah, have a great one.